What's up everybody, it's Pratzelworm. Um, please excuse the fact that I look like shit. I just got home from work. Uh, but yesterday evening, I finally received a package that I've been anticipating for a long while. Uh, and inside was this little guy. Um, I bought him off of eBay and I didn't initially realize that he was a Furby baby. I thought he was a full-size one, but that's okay. I can still work with him. Um, I got a pretty good deal. I uh, just under budget of I had a budget of thirty dollars and ended up getting him for like thirty dollars and some change, so it's pretty good considering most of the Furbies I was seeing off eBay were going for like forty five, fifty dollars. So I was like, Ooh, that's a little much for me. Um, part of the reason I got him for such a good deal is because he's actually dead. But I'm gonna s open him up and see if he's damaged or if he just needs to be jump started. Uh, he's a little dirty. But that's alright because I'm probably going to reskin him anyways. Um, and I gotta peel off the skin to look at his insides. Uh, he's also got his tags intact. This one's a little bent, but that's all good. Um, his faceplate's actually surprisingly clean and like, uh, like in pretty good shape. So I am definitely pleased with him. I've been tentatively calling him Cool Mint, but his name might change depending on what he ends up looking like. <laughs> Um, I've got some plans for how I want to customize him, but it might take a while before I can actually get that stuff since fabric is kind of a hot commodity right now with everybody making masks and stuff. So we'll see what I'm actually able to get for him. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to try some necromancy. So logically, the first thing to do is to, or the first thing to try is to see how he uh, reacts to batteries. Oof. I need two hands for this, apparently. So I've opened him up. He's a little dusty inside, which makes sense because, you know, he's over 20 years old. Oh my god, he's old enough to drink. So, battery's in. Um, I think you hit the reset button. All right, no response. Uh, that's pretty predictable. So uh, next thing is to open him up fully. All right, sorry for not being able to film as I do things, but because obviously I have to, I'm doing this with my phone, so I have to hold it with one hand. Um, I've removed his ears, which took a bit longer than anticipated. Uh, I can't tell if just the factory knot was really good or if somebody had uh, hand knotted it very well. Um, I also went ahead and uh, broke his zip tie so that I can peel off his skin because um, I'm probably like I said I'm probably gonna make him a new skin so I wasn't super concerned about preserving it and uh, trying to get it oh trying to peel it off with the screwdriver just ended up me scraping this little bit here whoopsies so I started peeling off his fur it looks like uh, he's got these little screws here that I'm gonna have to uh, and undo one on each side. Uh, there's his voice box. <laughs> he looks very, very funny right now. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and undo those and then, uh, try to peel him off the rest of the way. Okay, so after wrestling with his ears, I finally got him off. If you have never seen a de-skinned Furby before, this is what they look like. This is what their skin looks like without their body inside of it. A little spooky. Uh, looks like there was like glue holding his ears in place, which is part of why they were so tricky for me to remove, but uh, I managed to get it off. So now I'm gonna peel him open even further and assess the damage. All right, so here he is fully de-skinned. He looks a little drunk, but that's okay because he's legal. Um, here is all of his circuits. Now there is some glue that's fallen down in here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be there or if like I'd suspected maybe somebody had tried to glue the ears back into place and it kind of dripped down into his circuits. So we're gonna see if that causes us yeah, we're going to see if that causes us any problems. Um, here's his motor. This little thing, this little wedge in here right now, the, God, I can't talk. <laughs> this little wedge should be pointed downwards, but obviously it's pointed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some batteries in him and I'm going to turn uh, this little gear in there. I'm going to turn that until this is faded, pointed down and uh, see if that jump starts his motor. 
All right, so I turned it a couple times and oh come on, you were just Mama, there. He goes. <laughs> he lives. All right, so I went ahead and put his skin back on and also took his batteries out because he's loud and it's only eight in the morning. Um, but yeah, it looks like other than some minor scratching to like his internal plastic bits, uh, his circuits and his motor are fully intact. So, uh, like I said, it's going to be a little bit before I can get all of the materials that I need to uh, fully customize him and turn him into what I want. But in the meantime, I have a fully functioning little buddy here successfully raised from the dead.